An exciting moment at Corona Mukunda village in Jimara Upper River region. The inauguration of a solar power water system for the community, thanks to the Gambia Red Cross Society, Soul Health, and UB1 Foundation. The village elders, including the Imam Kukuta Sane and the Alkalo Musa Sama, expressed delight for the water facility, saying the community was without clean drinking water for over 50 years. Alena Sato Bundi Nyaka Kono Nyaka Muyala Kandita. Clean water was our problem for more than 50 years. These conditions were attributed to outbreaks of diarrhea and other diseases in the community for years. The clean water facility is now set to supply the village and satellite communities. Sira Baro, head of the Women Association of the Community, explains the decades of challenges and thank the Gambia Red Cross Society and partners for the development. We are very happy. We suffered enough. Getting water from the well was a nightmare. Officials of the Gambia Red Cross Society and partners said this is one of the boreholes provided for communities in need of clean water. They urge the community to take good care of the facility for sustainability. Elsewhere in Jaokunda, a remote community in the Central River region south, the excitement for the provision of a solar power water borehole was visible. The Gambia Red Cross Society and partners have installed a solar water system for the village as part of humanitarian services to communities. Women of this village said they are happy that their water challenges are over at least for now, citing decades of struggle relying on an open well. The Secretary General of the Gambia Red Cross Society, Alassane Senghor, experienced the support mission and how it was conceived. We don't only provide uh, safe, clean, uh, solar-powered uh, boreholes for water, but we also support government in training community health nurses and we've uh, been paying for their tuition and stipend. So we've done uh, three last year and uh, now we are uh, inaugurating two. It's been three years since it's been running. Uh, we've done an evaluation and uh, what it shows is that uh, it's very positive. It had made a great impact in the lives of communities and there are, the needs are still there and as you have just expressed. So we will continue to raise funds and then continue to provide water to other villages. I think we are thinking of uh, even doing more. Meanwhile, villagers in these beneficiary communities are now enjoying clean drinking water, while other communities are yearning for similar gestures. Ibrahim Ajalo, GRTS News.